And my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of February, 2019. You know, if you watch any of my videos, I have said more than once that Saudi Arabia follows the most extreme form of Islam called Wahhabism. And they use their billions of dollars from oil revenues to build mosques and to educate their young. And when you read this article, you'll see what they educate them on. Analysis of Wahhabism. I'm going to attach two links. This is one of them. And the other is a Wikipedia article on Wahhabism. For more than two centuries, Wahhabism has been Saudi Arabia's dominant faith. It is an austere form of Islam that insists on a literal interpretation of the Quran. How many times have you heard me say that? Huh? The Quran is very clear. There is no ambiguity. You either convert to become a follower of Islam their interpretation of Islam, which again is Wahhabism, or you pay a tax, or you have the sword laid against your neck. There is no fourth option. Strict Wahhabists believe that all those who don't participate their form of Islam are heathens and enemies. Jared Kushner needs to get a copy of this video. Critics say that Wahhabism rigidity has led to the misinterpreted and distort Islam, pointing to extremists such as Osama bin Laden and the Taliban. Wahhabism explosive growth began in the 1970s when Saudi charities started funding Wahhabi schools, madras, and mosques from Islamabad to Culver City, California. Here are excerpts from Frontline's interviews with Ma Yamiana, an anthropologist who studies Saudi society, Vali Nassar, an authority on Islamic fundamentalism, Mahar Haout, spokesperson for the Islamic Center of Southern California, and Ahmad al Ashia a Muslim from Saudi Arabia. You want to read what's written. If you go to school in Saudi Arabia, what do you learn about people who are not followers of Wahhabi, of the Prophet? The religious curriculum in Saudi Arabia teaches you that people are basically two sides. Salafis, Wahhabis, who are winners, the chosen ones, who will go to heaven, and the rest. The rest are Muslims and Christians and Jews and others. They are either Kafirs, who are deniers of God, or Mushrak, putting gods next to God, or innovators, that's the latest one. The innovators of religion, who are they called are Sunni Muslims, who, for instance, celebrate Prophet Muhammad's birthday and do some stuff that is not accepted by Salafis. And all of these people are not accepted by Salafi as Muslims. And I said, Clement to Islam. And all these people are supposed to be hated, to be persecuted, even killed. And we have several clergy, not one Salafi clergy, who have said that against the Shia and against other Muslims. And they have done it again in Algeria, in Afghanistan. This is the same ideology. They just have the same opportunity. They did it in Algeria and Afghanistan and now New York. Well, they say now New York, they're talking about the Twin Towers, which is total bullshit. But you want to read and you'll learn how radical this form of cultish religion, Wahhabism, and that's what Saudi Arabia 
practices and teaches. They hate us. People need to wake up and accept reality. You want to read the entire article? You want to read the Wikipedia article? Come to your own conclusion. Like I said, Jared Kushner needs to wake up and President Trump, he needs to smell a coffee. Saudi Arabia is not a friend of anyone other than those that adhere to their religion, which isn't even a religion, it's a cult. It's made by man. Wahhabism. Think what you like. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. Enlighten them on Saudi Arabia, that peaceful, loving country that would cut Jared Kushner's head off. He's already done it. He meaning the crown prince, Mohammed bin Shalom, butchered Jamal Kosagi. And he'd do the same to anyone that isn't a follower of Wahhabism. You think not? Think what you like. I do.